Hey, what's up guys? This next video is gonna be killer. Basically, all you need to know is this. When I found Detail, Detail was amazing. He, he was totally mind-blowing when it came to understanding women and taking girls from any nighttime environment, bringing them home, and having his way with them. He is just one of the best I've ever seen. However, obviously, I do day games. So as soon as I met Detail and decided I wanted him to work with me, I took him on my huge USA tour and we spent four and a half months uh, teaching boot camps together. So I have taught Detail all of my day game stuff. So we're talking about uh, single girls, groups, moms, malls, every possible situation you could imagine. Uh, he can do it, he approaches girls everywhere, he picks them up everywhere, he's awesome. So, there's a little demo reel uh, by us just to show off how awesome he is and also there's some knowledge by detail that you'll find quite interesting. So enjoy the clip and we'll see you guys next time. Here it comes. Okay, fellas, I'm going to talk briefly about uh, gaming, day gaming, uh, in different cities. Uh, there actually is a difference between the cities as far as opening, as far as logistics, as far as uh, the quantity, quantity of females that you have to handle at one time. Um, obviously here in Vegas, uh, maybe you can see it on the videos, but a huge, at least 80% of the groups I approached, were, yeah, 80% of the women I approached were in groups. Sometimes you can only see that she's maybe with a second person in the video, but in reality, behind the scenes or off to the off the camera's view, there's another group of maybe four chicks that she's with that are pulling, in a sense, pulling them away. Um, so that's why, yes, it can be highly advantageous to come with a wing or wings uh, to Vegas in particular. You can, of course, escalate, get the number, try to isolate later. Uh, but often, as you saw today, um, women are leaving that night, that day, uh, the next morning. So it can be quite challenging here in Vegas. Of course, I would guess, you know, Vegas, from my experience in the past, it's been easier if I was willing to go out late at night, uh, get a little bit more high energy by having a drink or two, um, and then kind of just overwhelming um, and entertaining the females at the same time, making it a sensual, sexual experience, making it fun. Um, that whole, you know, whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, definitely does happen. But then also what can, is very common from my past experiences to end up pulling at like six in the morning, three in the morning, one in the morning. Um, and sometimes they will actually escalate on you. They'll ask, you know, what hotel are you staying at? Why are they asking that? So that's, you know, at first when I first heard that, I was like, I thought to myself, why is she asking that? And then I asked her, well, would you like to go? And then she was like, okay. So that was one um, that I remember in the past. Uh, there was another one where I was like, hey, let's just go back to the hotel real quick. We'll, we'll leave your friends here and we'll be back in, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and we left. Of course, we didn't return for about three hours. But, you know, you just throw in that little, hey, yeah, we'll be, you know, be gone for 10 or 15 minutes and your friends won't miss you. Of course, it starts getting sexual back at the hotel and she's happy, you're happy, so it ends up lasting you know, several hours. Um, okay, so I, I got off on a little bit of a tangent. Okay, the different cities, yeah. Other cities where people are actually staying there, working there, it's a lot easier because you know that you're in that area, they're in that area, you approach and you actually can have some actual set up a, a D2 and you can meet up and you can even have a D3 and so forth because you both are living in that area. Um, and then of course there are different uh, openers that you can actually use depending on, uh, yeah, contingent upon the city that you're in and, and what uh, may or may not work. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna go through all of those for this video clip. Uh, I might do that in the future. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, every city is actually slightly different uh, for how you want to initially approach. Yeah. You're absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm Morgan. Morgan, I'm Morgan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.
to. How's it going? Good. Good. What are you guys up to today? Nothing. It's our first time in Vegas. I would love to exchange info with you and possibly okay. get coffee later. Okay. I love San Fran. Yeah, what's your number? The shopping or? We'll uh, talk people. about this later. 919? <laughs> uh huh. Okay, sweet. I am as well. Uh, I'm staying with like five or six of my buddies. Um, three or four of them are single. I don't know. Are you guys single? No, you're not single. You're single. <laughs> Just put that out there all over the place today. Yeah. All right, and then uh, area code five three zero. Five three zero. What what brings you to Vegas? You guys, fam family. What was that? Celebrating graduation. Oh. You graduated from you sit yeah. high five. Thank you. What was your major? Uh, world literature and French. I would love to possibly though get a uh, coffee with you later, if it's okay with your mom. Your area code LA is nine five one actually. Nine five one. Yeah. What about yourself? Um, I'm Australian. Okay. So yeah. I'm just I'll go back tomorrow, actually. Oh, did yeah. you have a good time, though? Yeah, I did. Yeah. What are you doing tonight? Okay, so nine, one, nine. Okay, I'm gonna give you a hug. Okay. Well, I might see you later. I'll come back and tell you you are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. What's your name? Ellie. Elise.